And before we start, I would really appreciate it if you could smash that like button, drop me a comment and share this free program with anyone who might need it. Find the moment of resistance, the fourth step. Easy one. So moment of resistance. You have to find whether it is an under reinforced or over reinforced section or if it is a balanced section, well and good. So if it is my say it is an under reinforced section. So in under reinforced section, T fails first. So I will know what is the value of sigma ST. That is, I'll steel fails first. So I will know what is the permissible stress in my steel and therefore sigma ST. Therefore, I will go with the formula that M is equal to T into Z, which will be AST into sigma ST into Z. So what will be Z this time? I know it is URS that is under reinforced section. Therefore, Z will be equal to if it is a balanced section, uh, it would have been a different case. Since it is an under reinforced section, this will be D minus XU by 3. If it had been a balanced section, then Z would have been D minus X balance by 3. Yeah, you see the difference. So sorry. D minus XU by 3. If it had been an unbalanced uh, balanced section, it would have been D minus X balance by 3. So this is the case for uh, under reinforced section. Let us take an over reinforced section over reinforced section so in over reinforced section concrete fails first so moment of resistance is given by c into z this will be half times so c fails so i will know the value of sigma cbc half times sigma cbc into b into xu this is the value of c into z z will be since it is an over reinforced section Again, my Z will be uh, in terms of XU only and not X balance. So this will be D minus XU by 3. But you will have different values for XUs here. So that is the reason why I take, I represent XU as XU in both the cases. So here, you will know everything, know everything here. Therefore, you will be able to find moment of resistance. If it had been, if it had been a balance section, you can either use T into Z or C into Z. In that case, your XU will be replaced by X balance. That's it. This is how we will find the moment of resistance uh, in working stress method. So something which you have to note here is, let me note here. Note here is, I have an uncracked section and a cracked section. A fact here, just keep it in mind. Always a cracked section, not a completely cracked one. Uh, small cracked, small cracks are permissible. A cracked section, it will take more load than the uncracked section. Can you tell me why? If you know the answer uh, to this question, uh, let me know in the comments below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.